Hi there. Um, and welcome to Sunday Stretch and Flow. So today um, we're going to start in seated. So if you'd like to bring a towel or a blanket, all you'll need is um, blocks and a towel or a blanket today. And then you can kind of fold it, sit on the edge if you like. It's not entirely necessary. And just kind of come with one foot in front of the other. And if you feel any tension in your hip creases, feel free to bring some blocks or more blankets underneath your thighs to kind of soften into the hip creases. I saw your sits bones to connect to earth, so maybe a little bit of rocking from side to side. Feel the crown of the head reach up and then really let your shoulder blades drip down your back. Hands can be wherever feels most comfortable on the top of your knees, palms up or down, fingertips to the earth. And if it feels okay to do so in the room you're in, you can close your eyes softly or just let your gaze be soft in front of you. And as you're here, today we are really focusing on breath and all the ways that it transforms and connects. So just start to notice your inhales and exhales, not yet doing any movement. Maybe even allowing your exhales to be deep and, and full, even before you draw in the inhale. Sometimes we really focus on that inhale, but let that exhale really soften, clear away. And then as we start to manipulate more of the inhale, Imagine your torso kind of divided into that low belly, the space between your hip points, your diaphragm, and then upper chest. And as you begin to inhale, inhale that breath really low first. Fill up that space in the low belly and let it travel upwards to the diaphragm and in all directions. Think of your whole torso expanding out front, side, and back. And as you exhale, think of the softenings coming from below. Then the diaphragm, once it gets to the softening, the exhale travels upward as well. And you can release your exhale out of an open mouth or just out of your nostrils, whatever feels best to you. Pranayama is the word that we use in yoga. It means a couple of things, the extension of the life force. Prana is energy and yama is control. So when we Practice this controlled breathing. It's kind of controlling of energy. So as you're inhaling, imagine drawing in more energy, more life force. And as you exhale, a bit of letting go. Still staying with that three-part breath, low belly, expanding, letting that breath travel up your spine all the way to the crown of your head. And then as you soften the low belly, softens, diaphragm softens, shoulders, ribs. A few more of these deep, kind of staying with this, even if it becomes or it feels a little difficult. Stay with it just a few more.
You can even a little hum or a sigh on your exhale. <sighs> Take one more of those three part cleansing breaths. And now just release that control of breath. Watch as your natural breathing pattern settles in. I think there's a lot that can be said through our natural breath, just connecting to that. This control pranayama breathing techniques are transformative, but so is just focusing on our natural breath. It's the quickest, easiest thing that we can do is just to tune in to something so simple that we carry with us everywhere. So as you're ready, maybe your eyes slowly start to open. You can start to Maybe make some circles into the wrists. Both directions. A lot of times our reasoning for practicing pranayama is to create this connection between mind and body. So then bring those hands back to the knees Take a nice big inhale to lift the spine upwards. And as you exhale, feel your shoulder blades glide down your back. Take another big deep inhale. That full belly breath all the way to the top. And then as you exhale, keep all that length. Let your left ear just drift down to your right. Feel the shoulder blades softening. And if you're used to that ujjayi breath where you kind of close off the back of the nose, back of the throat. Maybe today think of kind of letting that go. Not that it's always bad, but sometimes that tightness that we hold there can be a little restricting. Um, but go with what feels good to you today. If you're really enjoying that ujjayi breath, go ahead. But maybe think of breath today as a little bit softer. As you inhale, come back to center with the head. As you exhale, let the right ear float. Shoulders soften down. Inhale, bring it back up to center. Keeping those hands on the knees. This time as you inhale, kind of think of sweeping that chest forward. Like as if you're kind of waving like a flag. Chin can lift if it feels okay on your cervical spine. And then as you exhale, draw that middle of your back towards the wall, hands on the top of the knees to create a little, a little lever there and just kind of keep sweeping with that breath. Think of the low belly getting big and expansive, warmer. And then kind of drawing up from the pelvic floor as you exhale to press all that air out. And I'll see that, but really focus on how that breath is moving through and almost maybe how that breath is initiating these movements. Inhale, sweep it up one more time. Exhale, draw that low belly up, feel that spaciousness in your back. Inhale, come up again this time. Sweep those arms up overhead. As you exhale, bring that left hand down. Reach the right hand over. Feel that stretch. Inhale it back up. Exhale, right hand down, left hand stretch. Keep those sits bones down on the ground. Just kind of a little bit of flow from side to side here using your breath. Breath helps to relieve stress. Inhale, come back up through center. 
As you exhale, just kind of slowly let those fingertips float down in front of you, keeping the sits bones down, keeping the heart lifted. Begin to walk the torso forward, and you might want to have a block. So just walk that torso forward, sits bones staying down. So far as it just feels comfortable. Shoulder blades glide down your back. And here, begin to focus as you keep that breath nice and deep. So maybe focus on just the exhale. So here, as you exhale, once every last drop is out, give yourself a little pause and watch that inhale kind of flood in here. You can even send breath, thinking of that space. Maybe you're noticing that stretch on the outside of your hip. Maybe you're feeling it more in your low back. Send that inhale to that space. With the exhale, pour out every last little drop, a little hold at the bottom. Take one more breath here in this space. Fully exhale this time. Bring the torso up as you exhale. And all the way up and then we're gonna switch out. So now placing whatever foot that you had in front, placing the opposite foot. Kind of going back in, inhale. Bring those arms overhead, some more lateral side bends. Using your breath. That intentional focus on breath can bring our parasympathetic nervous system kind of more online. So as we take three deep breaths, it kind of massages the vagus nerve and then tells us we're okay. Inhale, back up to center. This time as you exhale, start that twist. Let that left shoulder go towards the left. Right hand on top of the left knee. Sort of nice little twist. Just going nice and slow. Maybe taking an inhale to go along through the crown of the head in between. Exhale a little bit deeper in the twist. There's a really interesting book called Three Deep Breaths that um, talks a lot about this innate ability of our bodies when we focus and take three deep breaths. The military uses it to reactivate the parasympathetic nervous system, telling us to calm down, slowly unwind, come back to center, and inhale those arms up. As you exhale, twist now, now let that right shoulder. Go to the back, left hand on top of the right knee. Take a pause to inhale along through the crown of the head. Exhale. Maybe that twist gets a little bit deeper. Inhale, unwind, come back up to your center. Exhale. Bringing those hands out in front this time, forward folding over the opposite leg. Move nice and slow. And you can always do that spinal wave here whenever there's kind of this forward fold and deep stretching. Sometimes inhaling, letting that inhale wave the spine long and then using the exhale to melt a little more. This time, focus on that inhale and then a pause and the hold at the top of the inhale letting yourself really feel the fullness of breath what that deep inhale feels like we throughout our day to day don't use our full lung capacity so when you take a big deep inhale kind of let yourself explore what that feels like to really fill up. 
And then let the exhale just be smooth. No effort, just let it drift out. And whenever you're ready, go ahead, slowly bring your torso back up. And then we're going to go into uh, Kapal Bhati. So it's like a breath of fire. <clears throat> it's going to heat us up a little bit. So you can bring soles of the feet towards the mat and sitting not too far from the edge of your heels. Hands can be back behind you. You can even bring some blocks if that's handy and keep the torso nice and long. So keep the heart lifted, crown of the head lifted. So as we practice this, we're gonna take a big, and it's okay to go at your own speed. This one was really hard for me to keep up with the speed when I started uh, doing yoga. And it just takes some time, but also I almost don't like to do it that fast. So go with what feels good with your body. So keeping all this length, take a big deep inhale, deep into that low belly. Let it travel all the way up. Then we're going to release just halfway. Release a little breath. And then we're going to draw that belly button back. So, so you're kind of forcing the breath out. And snapping, drawing the belly button back. So we can start again, do this all together. Take a big deep inhale. Let out half your breath. And then go ahead and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. And then just kind of soften. You can bring soles of the feet together. Let your knees drift open. Just give yourself a little minute. Maybe you feel a little warmer. This one is a really energizing. So if you really feel your energy tanking in the day. Also a good one to connect to core. So another option, we'll go through and do this once more, is to stay in this position, lifting up that chest, shoulder blades drawing down your back, or you can Bring those knees up into boat pose. Whatever feels comfortable for you here. So wherever you are, we'll take a big deep inhale. Really expand the little belly. Let out half that breath. And then go for about 20. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful release. You can bring soles of the feet together. You can go back just to easy, see the two, whatever feels good. I kind of like this stretch of the inner thigh. It kind of lights up there. Cleansing, clearing. <sighs> Exhale it out. Then we'll come to table, get another steeper stretch along the front body. That's also a really good breath work if you're doing any sort of core work to warm up, start to get your core a little bit um, heated and engaged as well. So bringing hands, fingertips fanned out, rest a little bit more forward from shoulders, hips directly over knees. On your next inhale, let the hips lift up, low belly sinks down, heart shines through, chin comes up. As you exhale, really think of that breath drawing out, low belly pulls in, shoulder blades broaden and expand. And just flow with your breath here. Let your spine start to feel softer and let the breath initiate that softness. The Latin word for breath is inspiritus. 
It's also where spirit comes from. <sighs> to be filled with spirit, to be alive. And if we were just to sit and breathe and think about that breath means we're here. And alive. Exhale. And bring that spine to more of a neutral position. So crown the head reaches forward, tailbone is reaching back. Keeping that right hand planted down. Go ahead and inhale, sweep that left arm up. So as much of an opening as feels good here. Feel that chest, ribs opening. And as you exhale, thread that left hand through. We're just gonna briefly touch the left shoulder, left side of the head down, and then inhale, sweep up again. And exhale, thread it through, briefly touching down. Inhale, sweep it open one last time. Feeling that broadening space of the chest, let more air in. As you exhale, this time completely land, left shoulder down, left ear down. You kind of keep inching that left hand through to the left, keeping the hips as square as you possibly can. If it feels good to you, you can inch that right hand forward. Taking your gaze kind of up underneath your armpits and just notice breath and release. Even in these twisted positions, there's always somewhere that breath likes to expand and then clear away. And spiritus is also where we get inspiration, creativity. As you're ready, gently slide that right hand back and come back up towards center, letting your ribs, hips, spine move kind of in all directions. We can circle the hips back, just kind of finding a little softness, a little wiggling out, and then come back to a neutral spine, keeping that left hand solid and down, let the crown of the head grow long, and as you inhale, spin the chest open, reach that right arm up, feel the expansion in the front, and then exhale, throw that right hand through, just so the right shoulder, right side of the head touches briefly. Inhale, bring it back up. Spanning that chest, exhale. One more time, opening up. Exhale. Let that right shoulder, right side of the head, keep inching those right fingers so you can kind of feel that shoulder blade open, keeping the hips square. Feels good, you can inch the left hand, fingertips forward. And again, let that breath infuse into the back of the lungs. A lot of times we're stuck in that accessory breathing Really shallow breath, just high and near the front of our lungs. Just taking this opportunity to fill up completely and exhale completely. As you're ready, slowly bring that left hand back. Coming back up. Once again, find a little wiggle, kind of reset of your spine. And walk those hands just slightly forward, really fan out your fingers, let your fingertips slightly grip into the mat, tuck your toes and then send the hips high, coming into your first downward dog, so take, take your time, move slow, keep those knees bent if you like until you find that really good spinal position, shoulder blades, neutral, and then start to straighten into the legs, heel soften towards the mat, they don't need to touch, and you can bend into each knee, side to side. Mm -hmm. 
as you inhale here, using your imagination to think of breath coming up from your hands and your feet, like as if your legs, arms, or straws up the back body to your tailbone. And as you exhale, let that exhale travel that same path back into the earth. You might notice some lengthening here of your spine and your neck. And taking a look forward, take a deep bend in those knees. Take a nice inhale, and as you exhale, bring your feet directly underneath your hips. Deep bend in your knees, forward fold. You can sway a little from side to side. And as we kind of begin a little standing flow next, think of that link of breath to movement as we begin each separate flow and let it become like a meditation. When we can focus on our breath, it kind of allows a lot of those distractions to melt away and lets the mind and the body start to talk to each other. So as you're ready, you can inhale, slide your hands up to your shins. You can leave them on the floor if you'd like, just to create a little traction so your hands are either pressing in or dragging back and you find this length in the spine. As you exhale, deep bend in your knees, keep your weight back into your heels and your hips, and then unhinge, bringing that torso up. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, let those hands, shoulder blades, everything just melt down. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, deepen in those knees, hinge forward, fold. Inhale, find a half lift. Exhale, forward, fold, deep in those knees. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, soften into the knees, unhinge using your core to pull you all the way up. Then inhale those hands up. Exhale, hands heart center. We'll go through a couple more times. I'll kind of limit me talking. Inhale it up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Forward fold. And another half lift. Bring it up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more of those. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Forward fold. Half lift. Bring it up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale it up. Exhale, deepen the knees, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And this time, plant the hands and it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come up high on those toes, wave your spine forward. As you exhale, you can bring those knees down. We're going to lower all the way down, nice and gently. Hips come down. Bring the elbows directly underneath shoulders. Think of all ten toenails pressing into the mat so much so that your kneecaps kind of light up. Think of softening the tailbone down by bringing pubic bone to belly button. Draw those elbows towards your hips, shoulder blades down your back. So we're in this sphinx pose, collarbone is nice and open. We're gonna do a lion's breath here. So really nice cleansing and releasing breath. So as you take a deep inhale, really filling up with breath, you might notice your heart even lift. You can draw your shoulder blades back. As you exhale, as the fun part, stick out your tongue. You can bring your eyes upwards. I really press it out and roar like a lion. Inhale it in, 
Exhale. Keep it going. A few of these, as I kind of explained, that sticking out of the tongue, there's a connection to the deep core line in our diaphragm. So as we are sticking out tongue, releasing breath, we're also kind of toning here, toning vagus nerve, toning um, that connection of diaphragm, finding some release along the deep core line. Last one. And then just find a release. See how quickly you can just soften to the mat, rest your forehead on the tops of your hands. You can sway your hips from side to side or bend to the knees. And again, just let your natural breath be here. Breathing is such a human element that also can be a really deep connection to self, to divine, to spirit, whatever that is, it can kind of quickly tie you to that space. Something beyond, but it's still within breath has that ability. And as you're ready, you can bring your hands back by your chest or your shoulder blades down your back, tuck your toes, and then firm up your core, draw that pubic bone to the belly button. And once you're nice and strengthened here, then press yourself up and all the way back to downward facing dog. Big deep inhale. Let that exhale clear away. Taking a look forward, take a deep bend in those knees, bring those feet directly underneath hips, deep bend in your knees, forward fold. On your next inhale, find a nice little half lift. Soften into the knees, and as you exhale, use your core to bring you all the way up. Inhale those arms up. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Take an inhale. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find a half lift. Exhale, plant those hands. Send the feet back, downward facing dog. Option today, if you want to inhale, come forward into a little chaturanga, lowering the knees if you'd like. Keep elbows in, shoulder blades gliding down your back. Inhale, give me a little cobra. Exhale, press it up and back down, facing dog. On your next, inhale, let that right leg float up. As you exhale, soften the knee, soften the elbows straight back, and then exhale, press the earth away, place that right foot behind right hand, soften the left knee down to the mat. Take an inhale, grow long here through the spine. You can bring that, uh, exhale, bring the torso up, or just stay on some blocks here if that feels better to you in your low lunge. Create a little resistance, a little scissoring action of the legs, and then you can soften those hips down and forward. If it feels good. Big deep inhale. But that exhale kind of almost as if you could pull up from that psoas muscle and exhale it all out. Bring those hands on either side or to even some blocks and then send your hips back. That front knee can be bent any amount. It's Kind of nicer to have low belly and ribs connected to that thigh to protect hamstring insertion than to find a really straight front leg. As you inhale, come back forward. Place that left hand either on a block or maybe down to the mat, lifting up that left knee. Inhale, reach that right arm forward. And as you exhale, as if you're kind of drawing a big circle with the right hand and then reach back. 
Maybe those hips sink down a little bit, and that's okay. Coming back, the right hand. Bring that right foot back down, the facing dog. Take a moment to clear. And it's okay as we even flow through. If your breath is off, that's fine. Just making sure that you come back to breath as your anchor. You might be taking a different inhale or exhale, and that's okay. As you're ready, inhale, let that left leg rise up. As you exhale, bend, soften down, and then draw that knee through, left foot right behind, left hand, lower that right knee to the mat. Take an inhale to wave the spine long. And as you exhale, you can come up, forearms on top of the thigh, you can come all the way up. Maybe find a little tiny scissor action, like if you have a magnet in your left heel, right knee, softening into the tailbone, then let those hips drift down and forward. As we use breath as an anchor, not just on our mats, but off, to kind of regulate that stress, bring hands on either side, or to blocks, and then send those hips back, front knee can stay bent. Maybe wave the spine long again and let the heart melt down. As you're ready, come back forward, placing that right hand either on the floor or on a block and tucking that right toe, lifting up the back leg. As you inhale, find that left hand reaching forward. As you exhale, make a big circle and reach towards the back. Maybe you notice the hips sink a little deeper stretch into that hip flexor. Coming back, placing hands on either side, come back to downward facing dog. Big deep inhale, fan out the fingers and the toes, and then exhale. Clear it out. On your next inhale, come up high on the toes, soften into the knees, take a look forward. Exhale, bring those feet underneath hips for a fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend into those knees, unhinge, coming all the way up. Inhale, those hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale it up. Exhale, deepen the knees, forward fold. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, come back to downward facing dog. Your choice, you can stay here. You can inhale it forward a little, chaturanga. Gently lower knees. Keeping that chest high, elbows on a 90. Inhale it up, any amount, whatever feels good to you, or you could just stay in downward dog. That is also beautiful. On your next inhale, let that right leg float up. As you exhale, soften to earth, bring that right foot behind the right hand. Take a moment here to inhale, grow long through the spine. Plant that left hand either down on a block, reach the right hand forward, exhale, send it back. And inhale it forward again. Take a little bend into the back knee so you're creating some stability through the core. Inhale, grow long through the spine as you exhale, lift up into crescent. Maybe that back leg straightens some more, maybe it doesn't. As you inhale, reach up. As you exhale, draw that breath like if you were pulling your exhale up from your pelvic floor. Hands make fists to your hips. Fierce breath. Inhale it up. Exhale, press that air out. Two more. If you could release. Walk that back foot in, lower the heel down, 
Bring those hips so they're square to the front of your mat. Take a breath in to grow long. Blocks can be towards the front. Then as you exhale, like you hinge forward over your hips, hands can come down to blocks or maybe they come to the floor. Take a moment wherever you kind of first folded to take an inhale to grow long through the spine. As you exhale, draw that right hip backwards. Maybe the chest melts a little more. Moving nice and slow and letting the breath travel to that stretch, that space. Maybe it's the back of the leg. Maybe you're feeling it in low back. Wherever you are, send breath there. Take one more cleansing inhale. Let that exhale release. And then placing hands on either side, bend into that front knee, send that right leg back, downward facing dog. Once again, your choice, you can come up high on those toes to wave the spine forward, a little chaturanga, or just stay. You can even rest in child's pose. And you inhale, and then exhale slowly back into downward dog. Whenever you're ready, let that left leg float up. As you exhale, soften down first, then bring that left foot behind the left hand. Take a wave of the spine, grow nice and long. Reach that left hand forward. As you exhale, sweep it around to the back, maybe the hips lower. As you inhale, come back forward, bend into that back knee to use that core, exhale it up. As you inhale, maybe that back leg straightens, maybe it doesn't feel good to straighten in that spine. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, once again, pull that breath out. Fists come down to your hips. Fierce breath. Two more. Inhale it up. Exhale. Walk that back foot in, lower that right heel, hips square to the mat. Take an inhale, long through the spine. As you exhale, hinge forward from those hips. Hands can come down to the floor or blocks, wherever it feels good to you. Once you kind of find that spot where you start to feel the stretch, take a moment to inhale, wave the spine long. And as you exhale, draw that left hip crease back. Maybe the heart melts forward. Again, send that inhale to the deepest part of the stretch. Let the exhale soften someplace where you might be holding tension unnecessarily. Take an inhale, bend into that front knee, bring hands on either side, send that left foot back, downward facing dog. Take a look forward, come up high on those toes, soften into the knees, bring your feet directly underneath your hips, forward fold. On your next inhale, nice little half lift. Soften into the knees, send the weight back into heels and hips, and then unfurl using the core. Exhale, hands, heart center. Bringing your feet really wide on your mat. Toes can be a little bit more parallel here. And just take a minute, fan out your toes really wide and think of kind of anchoring down into the pinky toe and the big toe. Inhale, lift the torso. As you exhale, hinge forward again from the hips. Slowly use that whole exhale to bring the torso down. Take an inhale here, weave the spine long at the bottom. As you exhale, let the crown of the head just kind of, as if it were becoming really heavy towards the mat. You can wrap your arms around to the calves or maybe reach through 
to the wall between your legs, whatever feels most comfortable. As you inhale, begin to walk the torso to the left. And as you exhale, find a little softening once you arrive. If you'd like, you can even take your right hand and keep reaching it over. Feel that stretch along the side body. Slowly come back towards center. Take another half lift here, creating some length in the spine, some space for breath. Forward fold again. And then walking gently over to the opposite side. And again, if you wanted to take that opposite hand and kind of keep it walking forward and to the side to kind of open up between the ribs, if that feels good to you. Come back towards center, one more half lift. And forward fold. Then turn those heels in, toes come out, kind of find some spaciousness here in the hips, even a little slinkiness from side to side. And let that breath wiggle its way into those spaces as you kind of move. Send those hips back, find that core and keep that length in the spine and then unhinge, coming into goddess. Inhale, bring those arms up. As you exhale, cactus. Inhale it up, come to the front of your mat. Nice little forward fold, deep bend in those knees. Inhale, half lift. As you exhale, plant your hands and back to downward facing dog. This time as you wave your spine forward, we're just gonna lower knees to come down all the way to the mat. So laying down on our backs, leg through the mat, moving slow. Soles of the feet to the mat. Maybe those knees kind of drift in on each other. Just give yourself a moment to land here. And up. Breath, body, mind connection also brings us presence. When we're focusing on breath, the only place we're at is in the present. So when we're a little energizing slash stretching of these hip flexors and connecting to breath. So if you'd like, sometimes I like to bring a block between these for bridge pose just because I feel like it really helps engage that lower half to move and from strength. A lot of back bends are actually from leg strength, not so much our, uh, what is flexibility in the back, but it also comes a lot from leg strength. So if you have a block, just gently squeezing it in between your knees, not creating this uncomfortable tension, but just a little bit of tension so that you feel those inner thighs, that steep core center line starts to light up. Press your heels into the mat, and as you inhale, feel those hips lift. Tops of the shoulders are gonna stay softening towards the mat, creating some space in between chin and chest, and it's just spaciousness in the chest area. As you exhale, slowly lower down, hips. Inhale, keep all that strength, that little energetic squeeze onto the block, heels press down. Maybe as you inhale, you like to bring the arms up overhead, in connection with that breath. And exhale, lower down. You don't have to do the arms. Inhale. This is a good one to help energize. Clear away. 
last time and then exhale release that holding on the block drawing that right knee in the chest give a nice little squeeze then crossing the right leg over the left just above the ankle flexing into the right foot keeping that right knee open draw the left knee to the chest as you exhale Allow the tops of the shoulders to soften. Allow your belly to soften. Slowly bring that left foot down now. And if you'd like, you can cross this right leg. So now the knees are stacked. Bring those arms out to the side. Gently draw your hips just to the right, just a couple of inches. And on an exhale, let those knees drift over to the left as the right shoulder blade stays down towards the mat. Gaze can go over to the right. You can see how quickly here you can let the exhale soften your whole body. The exhale, take out some tension maybe around your eyes and your throat. As you're ready, bring those knees back up. Placing the right sole of the foot down to the mat, draw that left knee to the chest, give it a nice little squeeze. Crossing the left leg over the right, keeping the left foot flexed, so it's just above the ankle. Left knee open, draw the right knee to the chest. Tops of the shoulders, release down to the mat. Slowly bring that right sole of the foot down. You can cross the left knee over if you'd like. Bringing arms up to the side, lifting up the hips, bringing them to the left just a couple of inches. And then on your next exhale, allow both knees to drift to the right. Left shoulder blade stays to the mat. Gaze can go over to the left fingertips. And let breath show you any areas that maybe you're trying to hold on and hover above the mat or engage. A lot of times we engage muscles that we don't need. And allow the breath to soften. Breath is a really good seeker of tension. Whenever you're ready, you can bring those knees back towards center. I slowly unwind. Take any last little bit of movements, maybe it's some circling, a little dead bug, joint movements, maybe it's happy baby, whatever that is for you, just let yourself kind of go through and get that last bit of movement out before our final rest. And then once you've gone through all that feels good to release, bringing your feet down, the length of the mat, letting your feet fall open to the sides, bringing your arms out nice and wide, palms up. If you'd like to have a blanket under your knees, your neck, you can go ahead and do that. And once you've found that really comfortable space, take a three cleansing breaths. So once again, broaden that space in between your hips, your waist, your back, 
for your ribs, your collarbone, and then exhale at an open mouth. Looking inside out. One last clearing breath. Just let your body settle here in the last few moments, allowing yourself this peace and this rest. And as always, feel free to stay in this pose as long as you possibly can. And when you're ready, you can make some circles into your ankles and wrists or fan out your fingers and your toes. When it feels okay to do so, you can inhale, bring those arms overhead, putting your toes on the length of your mat, like a big, long stretch. As you exhale, you can draw knees to the chest or just bring soles of the feet to the mat. Taking a little time maybe to move the head from side to side or the hips. And as you're ready, gently rolling over to one side, pausing there, letting your head rest on your bicep. Maybe just once again, allowing a little bit of focus back in onto breath. Maybe even a sense of gratitude for yourself, for breath, for being here today. And then whenever you're ready, gently pressing yourself up, coming to any easy seated position that feels good to you. You can sit up on a blanket, have some blocks under your knees. Taking some time, maybe inhale and exhale, rolling the shoulders down and back. Just letting your hands fall wherever it feels good, on your knees, on the floor. Letting your head bow gently to your heart. And this is the quote that kind of was running through my head for the past couple of weeks, it led me to this class. It says, breathe deeply until sweet air extinguishes the burn of fear in your lungs. And every breath is a beautiful refusal to become anything less than infinite. And that is from D. Antoinette Foy. And I thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you and I hope you have a really good rest of your week ahead and take some time throughout your day to just focus on breath, three deep breaths, Get yourself back to a restful state. Thank you so much.